Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another edition of a film review and today we are um, rating and trying to see if we need a defensive end and today I'm going to focus a little bit more on Lorenzo Carter and uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Is he even on this play? I probably should start off with the, a play that he's actually in. Uh, but yeah, let's go through a little bit of this film. And basically, I'm not a, a pro film reviewer, but I'm going to show you some plays with with um, with Lorenzo Carter, and we're going to kind of go through it. Is Can he be the edge defender? Do we need to focus on a Jason Away or Joseph Osai high in this draft, especially if they fall to us at that second spot? Now let's get, uh, let's get a little bit into it. Uh, so you see this is Lorenzo Carter on the left right here. And let's just watch. Now, this is against Trent Williams right here, the best edge defender in the league. He's playing a nine technique. Uh, so he's wide out. Like, I think that's nine technique. I think that's the right saying for it. You know, Trent Williams is just just good. Um, he has his hands to the inside, tries to shut him off, but Nick Mullen gets it out pretty quick. Now, here he is again, uh, outside of Leonard Williams, following the trailing that side of the field. Now, we also know this other player, let's let's mention, somebody does get to the quarterback. I think it is Logan Ryan <laughs> Find, finds him. Uh, good, good play by Logan Ryan. All right, so here we're going to see O'Shane Zimenez. Let's see how he does. This is uh, Mike McGlinchey. Yeah, he, he got it out way too fast uh, for Zimenez to do anything there. Let's just see how the entire defensive line does here. So you have Len Williams going up one against his defensive tackle. He's trying to shut him off. Uh, the, the defensive lineman does a good job trying to get inside. He's trying to uh, bend a little bit. But I'm not sure what he's doing there. Uh, so he was unsuccessful. Then you also have Dalvin Tomlinson, the big name. He gets double teamed here. Nothing really much you can do. They get the ball out. And oh, it's a completion. Okay, so this is going to be a run play. Um, nobody's really filling in their gaps that well. Devontae Downs does set the edge a little bit, but notice towards his left side, there's just a big, big hole right here. Uh, but it does get closed pretty quickly. So let's take a look at what's happening on this right side. Uh, 60 does a good job just bouncing. I think that's uh, Dexter Lawrence out. He falls. And uh, yeah, yeah, Dalvin does a good job in this play. He, he sticks with his gap responsibility right here. And... Um, all right, here we go once again. So you have the whole crew right now. Everyone's lined up on the uh, defensive line. Lorenzo Carter, I don't really like his pursuit here. I I, I want to see him attack, attack. No, that kind of way patiently, just attack. Good job by Lorenzo Carter right here. I mean, he, he realizes, okay, he's he recognizes the play right away. Okay, there's going to be a little bit of a play action. I'm probably not going to be able to catch all the way up, even if he does catch it. Backs up into coverage, but... The, the defense need to do a better job of like defending it, I guess. This one, he's just in the right position. Right? Notice he tries to be in the right position at all times. So he waits. He realizes he's unblocked. He doesn't see that he's being blocked. He's like, okay, something's happening. I don't know what. So he sees this guard right here. Um, he, he bends. He dips. He sets the edge. And then they're able to make the tackles. That's a really good run play by Lorenzo Carter. I don't worry about him in the run game as much. The pass game, I do. Oh yeah, this is this is that touchdown play. I mean, it's just the play is developing. Uh, Lorenzo Carter need probably needs to do a good a better job in keeping his hands like shedding off this uh, this offensive tackle, Mike McGlinchey. But he does keep him to the inside. But this is just a mismatch right here. He he is shedding him off. But like, this, what, what can you do there? I don't really blame him. Okay, so now we have Lorenzo Carter as a true edge rusher right here. Let's just see. Mullins is motioning somebody to the right. Um, yeah. Uh, the 60 does a good job long-arming him. The 60, yeah, 60 is a guard. So he comes all the way over. I'm like, oh, what, what's 60 doing here? Uh, so he comes all the way over. Lorenzo Carter does have long arms, and he's trying to control him a little bit. He can't win every single rep. Even the best defenders don't win every single rep. So, yeah, I... Not really complaining much about that. So as we work our way to the next play, he's playing that nine technique again. Mike McGlinchey converting, trying to convert speed to power right here. Just trying to push the pocket back. Doesn't do a great job, but all right. So you have look how many you have six people on the on the uh, defensive line here. Uh, this is a fake run. Oh, he gets a little bit held here. Um, <laughs> he gets a little spun around, but he does beat uh, what's that? Mike McGlinchey, I guess. Mike McGlinchey. Uh, he kind of gets to the edge quicker. And he's able to go around, but yeah. 
Lorenzo Carter is not on this play, but I want to show because Leonard Williams does win this rep. He does a good job ripping number 75. So what he does was, is goes to the outside, then then uses his quickness, rips him up, see his arm, and attacks number four, which is Mullins, and gets the sack. Good job. Now if we look at O'Shane, our buddy O'Shane right here, going against Mike McGlinchey. Uh, he doesn't really have a, a, a complete plan here, I don't think. Uh, he tries to juke him out. And then he gets his hands on him, and then, I don't know. So this is Lorenzo Carter trying to get a true bend around the edge against the best left tackle probably in the league. So what we see, first of all here, is Trent Williams does a really good job getting to him, not opening up his hips. So this is just this is good Trent Williams here. I would like to see a little bit more bend, but, I mean, where's this ball snapped? It's snapped on the, let's say, the two or the one and a half, I guess. And now Lorenzo Carter gets around the edge at around 10, which is not great. But this is one of the best offensive tackles. He doesn't really have true, true speed to dip around here. But, um, yeah, I mean, he does kind of get around the edge. All right, here we go. Next play. Look how many offensive linemen they have on this play. Um, so it's going to be a handoff, I believe. And look how Lorenzo Carter just, he beats this tight end. He just, straight line, he reads the play, attack, boom, got him. Great play. Take a look at O'Shane. I think Lorenzo Carter is the better player than O'Shane. I had high hopes for O'Shane Zimenez. Uh, so he realizes he's unblocked. Spidey senses should be tingling. Um, eh, not that bad of a job. <laughs> he uh, takes on Kyle Juszczyk and uh, blows his shoulder. Not bad. Here we go. Once again, Lorenzo Carter to the left. A lot of defensive tackles here. Let's kind of break it down what I see. So that's that full play once again. Let's break it down left to right. Let's read it like a book. Going against Trent Williams. So he realized he might get chipped by number 28. Um, I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. He's kind of initiate contact. Gets a little bit thrown off. Now you're pretty much a loss. Um, yeah, so that's a, not a great play by Renzo. Let's check out our boy DT, Dalvin Tomlinson, the defensive tackle. Uh, nice. D does a good job. Now he has the arm. He's winning the arm battle, kind of long arming him a little bit. Winning that hand battle inside and getting to Mullins. Good play right there. Now who's in, who's playing the other defensive tackle? About? I kind of like BJ Hill and just in general. He gets double teamed. They kind of lean their coverage to the right a little bit. I think that's what they realized. And kind of having uh, B.J. Hill kind of there. And Dalvin Thompson on that one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I think they kind of like number 63 going to the right. And then Dexter Lawrence playing that defensive end. Nice technique here um, with on 69. Getting to that, using his strength right there. Doesn't have the best, <laughs> he's not an edge guy, but pretty decent job. Lorenzo Carter going up against a tight end. You should destroy this guy. You're, the, you're, a, you're, a def, you're an edge guy. Uh, 82 kind of leads. He does a really good job keeping his hands to the inside. You cannot let him win that battle as long as use check is there too. And but then he does shut him off, and but he misses the tackle. And then I don't think anybody else really has anything to do with this. Let's check out Blake Martinez for a second. How does he pursue this? Uh, reading it, reading it, reading it, reading it. Um. No. Okay. So this is a pretty big play. You have a you have a weird like guard whole thing that I've never seen before. Let's get to the actual play, Anthony. Here we go. Number 75 is going to initiate contact on Lorenzo Carter. He does set the edge a little bit. Let's check out Leonard Williams, who's right here. He was unable to make the tackle. Why was he unable to make the tackle? Well, he does a good job in the beginning, you notice, uh, getting to that second level, getting past number 82. So he's here. Then uh, the fullback does uh, block split Martinez. He's just not in the right position quite to make that tackle. Uh, do they get it? Is that a touchdown? Oh, it is a touchdown. Okay, so let's have another play right here. You have, uh, yeah, I, what I noticed is when Carter just generally does a good job against the heads. He's, he's good and powerful. That's just a skinny gap to go in, man. Such a skinny gap that developed. And, uh, you know, you have Fackrell and Leonard Williams are able to make that play. So this one, I really like how Lorenzo Carter just uses his power and his strength um, to kind of blow up, not blow up the play, but blow up this, uh, he's like, I don't want any of this shit, like, even if the running back is running here, he's blowing him up, but then he pursues Mullen, gets, I think this is counts as the pressure, maybe. he gets that inside, he's able to, if you take a look at it, blow him up, 
push him out of the way. So now he's just vertical. Now you kind of you have a free open path to the quarterback, able to get there. Now we take a look at O'Shane, or boy O'Shane. Uh, he does get double teamed here. Uh, in the beginning, I think he tries to go to the center. He tries to go to the center, try to get him off. A little bit of holding there maybe, but O'Shane didn't really do a good job there. Okay, here we go. Four defensive linemen, 05, actually. Lorenzo Carter, unblocked. Spidey senses should be tingling. Who's coming? Who's doing what? It's a play right up to center. 75 comes all the way across and blocks him. And that's the end. I'll be all that play for him. Uh, you can't really make every single play, I guess. But but the real play here is the defensive tackles. So uh, let's kind of see what's going on. I mean, O'Shane just kind of gives a half effort. I mean, what what is that right here? I mean, he does, like, if you take a look at him, he does swing around. Good play. Good, uh, But, like, you have to be strong there. He just lost five yards from that. All right, so now they're shifting. Let's see what they do. They, I think they realize that this is a run play because they shifted. They knew something. They shifted left. Now let's see their, uh, if they hold their gap responsibility. Leonard Williams, open path. That's holding. I think that's pure holding right there. Look. Holding, holding. That's that's tough. Um, Blake Martinez is able to get to that second level. He's able to get there and misses the tackle, but Austin Johnson is able to uh, clean it up. Look, take a look at that pursuit. Austin Johnson, nothing really. He, the ball just gets out way too quick. But I want to see how they kind of each player attacks it. Uh, Leonard Williams with the hand swipe a little bit early, a little bit early. So Leonard uh, Trent Williams is able to. Uh, I just realized they both have the same last name. Let, Leonard Williams and then Trent Williams. Sorry. Uh, then you have Dalvin Thompson just getting double teamed. Uh, soaking it up, though, pretty well. Uh, then 60 is going up against uh, 95. He's trying to convert speed to power. I think he's just tired at this point because if you take a look at BJ Hill, it's just like kind of win the hand fight, but it doesn't look that aggressive. Don't blame him. Oh, see, this is why I like Lorenzo Carter. Look how strong his arms are. Like, he, if you're in his grasp, he's probably isn't going to let go. So, first of all, he blows up Juszczyk. So, his game isn't that much speed, What from what I've been noticing. His game is more power. So, if he's able to have that Achilles, he doesn't really rely that much. And then he just, he does spring here, which does rely on your legs. I mean, football rise on your legs. He springs. Oh, strong hands. Now, this is unfair. Let's take a look at this for Leonard Williams. He's getting like double team right here. Like there's no no chance. Then you have uh, Dalvin Tomlinson, I believe that is. Uh, you ha you have them trying to convert speed to power. Take a look at that. That's speed to power, but just power. Boom, boom, boom. I need to figure out who that is, but I think yeah, it might have been Tomlinson. So he's obviously a strong man. Strong man. Yeah, I don't blame him. People are like oh, I want to see that guy dive into that pile. I don't want to see that guy dive into the pile. But you take a look at. Uh, the, sh the pure like rip of Dalvin Tomlinson getting to that uh, second level, that speed, that burst. I like that. Uh, let's take a look at Blake Martinez, who's on the defensive line right here. Um, whoa, I, I just I could just imagine being a football player. That's just pain right there. Nate Ebner, Jesus. Nate Ebner ends up making the play kind of, but it is kind of made by the pursuit of this one player. Who is it? I think it's Fackrell. If we take a look at it. No, no, it's uh, Logan Ryan. Good play by him. All right, let's take a look at O'Shane, who I don't really like. Um, he's, he's trying to juke him out, juke him out. Ooh, oh shit. All right, all right, O'Shane. All right, O'Shane. Okay, so what happens here? He gets his hand on his right shoulder pad, pushes him down. Okay, all right. There's a little bit of a flash there. Okay. Then you have Dalvin Thompson right here, ripping up uh, against 75, using his long arms. Uh, he's kind of leaning here. He has a solid base, the offensive lineman. I'm trying to like judge their technique. Uh, but he just manhandles them. All right, here we go. <laughs> I've just been reviewing plays for a while. But here, here we go. So you have Lorenzo Carter, more like a seven technique here. So uh, he's going up against tight end, waiting patiently, seeing if they're going to counter. Then just doesn't really attack. Dexter Lawrence, Dalvin, and uh, who is that? 96 or well, 95. That might be BJ Hill. Uh, so you have Lorenzo Carter just scouting, scouting. Getting his hands on Williams early, uh, kind of reading the play, but it's not to him. So he he does he did his job right there. Look at this play. This is why you need somebody like rangy and athletic. 
because uh, he realizes, oh shit, like he goes to blow up 81, but like halfway through it, he goes, oh shit, the play is going this way. Gets his hand up, nice and lengthy right there. Like it. Uh, so Wendell Carter playing defensive tackle right here. I'm curious to see how he does here. Uh, uses his arms. Use, he tries to use the one arm technique. Doesn't really have that much of a plan. Doesn't spin. I like to see a spin, but I think this play might be a uh, a stunt. But you need to pick. If it is a stunt, you need to pick up a number 71 too. You have to make sure you get both of them because I see uh, Leonard Williams kind of going this way. I'm not sure if that was planned or not. And then the defensive tackle spot, Dalvin Tomlinson, ripping. Nice job. Yeah, see, Lorenzo Carter is never really explosive. Like, the, would you consider this an explosive play? The, he tries to get to the inside, swipes. That doesn't really look that explosive to me. It's not like, wow, did you see how he, like, bursted? If You know what I'm saying? Does it look, does it look like, oh, look how he bursted onto the left and, and got up, you know? All right, so O'Shane versus Lorenzo. I, I like these plays because you get to see both of them. Again, unblocked. What's going on? Spidey senses are tingling. Well, not, not that much, because he didn't really see unblocked for that long. Um, just kind of gets sealed off. It's so hard for these plays. Like, how do you not get sealed off here as a defensive lineman? I don't understand. You have a fullback leading the way, but st uh, still... Uh, oh, that, that was the Isaac Yadam. All right. Isaac Yadam making the play. Saw a play by Isaac Yadam. Getting off. Boom. All right, so you have Lorenzo right next to O'Shane right here. Let's, let's see. They have a, no, let's, I was about to say two tight ends set on the, on the ends of the defensive line. Oh, see, I don't like how O'Shane gets so pushed around so easily because his size is just concerning, and he doesn't have a lot of speed either. So it's like you're not really trading off anything. All right, so this for this one, Leonard Williams is going to pick up these two, um, the guard and the tackle who does a good job kind of getting both because it is a planned stunt. But uh, the guard, the center, ends up picking up Lorenzo Carter. As far as the other side, I'm not going to really rate Marcus Golden. You can kind of just watch him if, if you want to. All right, here we go. Defensive line, everybody up. It's a, probably going to be a run play, maybe a little bit of a play action. It is a play action. It's a fake. Uh, good, ooh, good job by, uh, who is that, 20? I think it's Julian Love. I should know the, play, the player's numbers by now. But take a look at the defensive line right here. Let's see how they do. So you have Dexter Lawrence. One the one hand technique. You have Dalvin Thompson who really does a good job getting to that uh, second level, with getting to the backfield. Then you have O'Shane Zimenez, who I'm guessing doesn't really do much. Yeah, he, he has some. He has good, I guess, hands. Like he could dip a little bit. He does like kind of get around if you notice his hands. But it's just uh, there's something there's something that you want that he doesn't have, like that athleticism, that burst. Uh, the 75 just doesn't move his feet here that much. But Len Williams does like a little bit of a push-pull right here, I guess. And able to kind of get him off himself, shed him off. Good job. And incomplete. All right, the defensive line stand. Let's see how they do. So you, you're playing four on the defensive line. That's kind of ballsy right here because they have an empty set, so it doesn't really matter that much. BJ Hill lost his helmet. All right, see how length his, his just pure athletic freakness doesn't have that much speed. But uh, Leonard Williams is one of the best. I mean, he just opens up his hips a little bit too much. Let's take a look out. I think Lorenzo Carter just does a good job pushing it. Like, I think he physically makes him open up his hips right here. If you take a look at it, push, out, opens up, free pass to the quarterback. Oh, and that was a touchdown, wasn't it? Oops. 